When I'm painting, I can really get into a zone where everything else falls away. You're only thinking about what you're doing, color, line, form. And you can tune out everything around you. I, I can forget to eat. I'll just look up and hours have passed. My name is Margaret Dillard, and I am a Chickasaw painter. I started painting as a child. I loved to draw and color and paint any kind of arts and crafts. I was there. We knew we were Chickasaw growing up. My grandmother was always very proud of it. Unfortunately, she was one of those that was sent to boarding school and was discouraged from learning her own language and her culture. But I really enjoy getting reconnected with my culture and about the ancient people. It's crept more and more into my art. It's inspired me. It's fascinating to think about how the Chickasaw people lived. The first person that covered their hand in charcoal and slapped it on a cave wall, that was their way of communicating. They wanted to leave their mark on the world. And I think each of us has that. We want to leave our mark on the world in whatever way we do it, whether you're writing or photographing or acting or painting. There's a lot of prep work that goes into painting, and that's half the battle, and it's part of the fun as well. My aim when I paint something is to tell a story. Once I've decided what I'm going to paint, I pick the support. I will draw the inspiration onto my canvas. Most of the time I'll do it an underpainting in burnt sienna or some color that I think is gonna work well because it unifies the whole painting. If some of it shows through behind, then it, it kind of unifies the color throughout the painting. And that helps me identify where my lightest lights and my darkest darks are. Then I'll go in with the local color, the color that's going to be the end color. I tend to gravitate towards complementary color schemes. If you put complementary colors together, as the Impressionists did, you can get actually more of a, a brighter sense of them, more of a, a vibrancy to them. They almost hum. <sighs> when I get it to where I like it, I live with it for a while. I'll put it up on the wall and I'll walk past it. I'll live with things sometimes for six months or more and then decide I want to change something in it. You know, the light isn't quite right on it or the color doesn't quite work the way I wanted it to. It feels really good to finish a piece of work. Whenever I do a portrait of someone and I'm able to give it to them, it's really satisfying, especially to people's children or grandchildren when I give it to them and they're almost in tears because it's so special to them, you know, to capture that moment in time. It feels really wonderful. I would very much like to pass my knowledge of how to do artwork down to other Chickasaw children I want them to be able to enjoy that same moment of awe or inspiration or joy. The nation has done so much for me, and that gives me a way to give back. I know that all of the arts that are traditional to the Chickasaw people will continue because that's a part of who we are, that's a part of our soul that just will always be expressed.